Good morning. This is a WWE creative rant. It's WrestleMania season. I live up in the East Coast, so it's snowing. Fuck ass snowstorm sitting in my car, you know. Let's think about a few things. The first thing I'm going to address is this Brock Lesnar situation. It's completely the powers that be fought, whether it be Hunter, whether it be Vince, whether it be Kevin Dunn, the people that's, you know, in control of signing and not signing people. You give this man all this money, he's not consistent at all. He may wrestle maybe three times out of the year, if that. You put the WWE World Heavyweight Championship on this man. Now, the matches he's been in have been pretty good. I can say that he steps up when he's supposed to, but of course he's going to ask for more money. Y'all giving him a shitload of money, and I know for a fact guys like John Cena, Randy Orton, those guys are not making, probably not even making a third of what y'all paying him, but they still show up. They still deliver. They still give the people what they want. I'm even hearing rumblings now that Cena may not even be in WrestleMania now because they have heat with him because of the things he want to do outside of the business. So a way to punish him, they keep him off the cut. Why would you t take your biggest draw off the cut? It's bad enough that y'all pushing him to mid card and having him feud for the U.S. Championship. I mean, the guy is 37 years old now, but. I mean, I just feel he deserve a little more credit. Then you push Daniel Bryan to the ladder match. Just put him in a singles match. Even though we've seen it before, a heel, Sheamus, and him would be a very good match. I still would like to see that go on. But we may have to wait to extreme rules. Um, it's just the same old matches. I haven't watched SmackDown since the first one aired because I'm a big supporter of Daniel Bryan of course and uh you know I saw that he was coming back so I wanted to see his first match back I haven't watched it since then because it's the same old main event it's either Roman Reigns against Seth Rollins or it's a six man Luke Harper and Authority against the same old three guys Eric Rowan, Dolph Ziggler this and that person it's like it's no need to watch this shit it's boring Bring those NXT guys up. Aaron Neville, uh, Finn Balor, uh, Kevin Owens. Bring those guys up and have them feud with some of them guys. The Ascension, I do not like the Ascension. They're a knockoff LOD. You know what I'm saying? They're a knockoff LOD. You know, no, I know that that's what their shtick is, their gimmick is, but I just don't fucking like them. You know what I'm saying? It has to be better, man. Like, now, we had to live off the fact that Triple H and Sting might be a show closer. A 53-year-old man, and I guess another guy pushing 50. The great WCW against the great WWE. Really? No knock to Sting. The dead man against Bray Wyatt. Undertaker needs to put his career on the line. There's no way he's going to be full-time. He's not going to get another run. So, pass the choice to the young guy. One creepy guy to another creepy guy. I love Bray Wyatt. I'm a huge supporter of Bray Wyatt. Um, but this Brock situation, I don't see him going back to UFC for two reasons. Reason number one, his health, his health problems. So, it wouldn't be feasible for him to do it. Number two, his age. And he's a heavyweight. So, he probably won't do too good. But leave your comments below. Y'all have a good day.